discontinuity, right? And we also recognize that this discontinuity is approaching um, this limit as x approaches negative 1 is going to equal, um, um, now obviously, if I just go ahead and apply direct substitution, what happens? Right? I'm going to get 0 in the denominator. So therefore, that tells me this is a as, uh, undefined value. So it's an asymptote. Huh? What negative? Oh, that was just a part of So therefore, guys, this is undefined because therefore we're trying to find the value at a, an asymptote, right? So that's not going to give you an exact value. However, we could use our graphing calculator. Let's say does not exist is not an answer choice. This is a little bit more advanced for this class, but since I did the problem, I might as well cover it. Um, what if it asked, what if the answer was like infinity or negative infinity, right, or does not exist? So therefore, they might want to see, does the graph approach from the same direction from the left and right? So what you could do is go through your table function and get numbers really, really close to negative 1 from the left, as well as get numbers really, really close to 1 from the right. And to save ourselves some time, because I wasn't planning on doing that, I'm just going to type this into our calculator. Was it x divided by x minus 1? Yeah. OK, so you guys plus. Well, it doesn't. So you guys can see that the graph looks like this. So therefore, since it's not the same, we can definitely confirm that it does not exist, which you guys could just easily do on your calculator. No 